Hello everyone, I'm Mark91 and welcome le back to Let's uh, Play Planes of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And I've made a decision, well, a decision with the voice acting for this game. I won't do everything the characters say like that, but I will do things like this. Masters, look out, Link! It's way too dangerous, you need something to defend yourself with. We have to go back. Yeah, I'll do uh, voice bits that are, well, text and voice bits that are uh, related to story. Not every uh, person who talks and not every explanation of how to pick up things. Try to take the path to the north, did you? Sheila, I don't pretend I uh, you forgot I told you never to go that way. We've seen so many quakes out of the uh, island lately, Link. And monsters have been seen closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. That cave up north leads to the port, it's true. But that part could be crawling with monsters. Don't even think about it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. Somewhere in this unit, uh, this century. Okay, but what we need to do to continue is find a sword. Well, Grandpa wants us to stay out of trouble, but we need to find your friends. If only you uh, found a sword, that's when you could sh then you could show those monsters. <clears throat> yeah, to find a sword, we just we need to go inside this cave. <clears throat> Which is... Come on, Shiela. There we go. Grandpa used this cave as his storehouse. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back in there. Now, how to get this gate door open? I remember he cracks open the door by writing a number on that sign. I think he says his number of palm trees on the beach. Sneaky. Yeah. <clears throat> I knew. I know that number by heart. Keep your hands off my things. Please ask first. Ask us. And it's... Seven. Yes, yeah. We'll get into more puzzles later where, it's where we need to draw stuff. And in this chest it's... Ossus a sword. Tap an enemy or slide the stylus to... You found a sword. Ooh, we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. It weren't himself sick. Good for us though. Now we can defend ourselves from those monsters. Okay, this explains about how to attack. Uh, yeah, there are multiple attacks. Yes. Targeted attack, swipe attack, and spin attack. And I believe, yeah, we'll also get some one or two more ways of it to attack with the sword itself. But that's for later. First, we need to get out of here. Ah, uh, snap. You two are proving to be quite a handful. Isn't that my sword? What do you plan to do with that? I'm doing with that. Grandpa, I'm sorry, but we just had to. We can't abandon his kidnapped friend. We can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand, but I can't uh, just let you go. Not without showing you how to handle that sword. I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me at my house, Link. I'll just let the Link parts out, I will think. That's better. <clears throat> So you have a sword, then show that uh, then know that even the best swords can be bad, if mishandled that is, so I must teach you the basics of swords play. Let's begin with a targeted attack. <clears throat> I'm going to bring out some targets you know, for sword practice, far safer than real foes. Just tap a target to lock on and close in for the attack. Try it now. Ah uh, yes, that's what you need to do. <clears throat> Destroy all four targets with the ta attack. Excellent, that uh, targeted attack is the most basic of attacks, use it well. Now for the side slash. When you find it hard to lock onto enemies, use the side slash. Just get in the line that divides you and your target to slash at it. This move requires a little practice, simply sketch the slash. Yeah, you can also draw a line from Link forward uh, to do a more stabbing attack, which I didn't show here. It looks like you finally understand the side slash. You can also use it to slash several things at once. Remember it well. And finally we have the spin attack. Slide the stylus in a circle around yourself to spin attack. Ah uh, yes, just as he says, like that. <clears throat> uh, I also showed one tiny bit. If you attack if you hit Osses he will <laughs> tell us, say that. Superb, I can teach you nothing more. Now you must swim on your own as you venture out amongst the monsters. But if you do ever you have any problems, return here and speak with me. And with that we can leave. And finally get up north. <coughs> uh, as 
yeah, we'll get, I'll get, <laughs> in this video I got started with that. Uh, first off, these enemies are QQs. Uh, very easy. These red ones are normal ones, just hit them and kill them. And we'll find these things throughout the place. Boing. What to do with some assaults? Scroll tiny little circles at the very edge of your screen. Well, into that big tree there and see what shake loose. Well, too much, however, and you'll get dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> this is a tad annoying mechanic, you will. Uh, about tutors again. Uh, yeah, nothing special about them. Provided. Right. Okay, mountain passage. You could consider this a tutorial dungeon, something. What? This is also where we'll find our first uh, puzzle. Which is right behind that door, and we can't open it yet because we need a key. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'll get this. I'll, I'll try to get the rupees that are in along my way, but I won't just go. I won't go all uh, the way around for uh, cash. And here's a small key. Touch the door to open it. You can only use it once. And that's it for this part. So thank you for watching. And. <clears throat> See you next time when we do the puzzle, but until then, have a nice day, and goodbye.